Hello again. Now I have attached the turntable or platter onto the fan which I'm using as the bearing. Uh, I've cheated a bit because I've used a double sided tape rather than glue. This was really just so I could check how accurate my centering was. So um, what I did was I used this little vise with uh, this little drill bit and I uh, drilled a little hole where um, the centre spot on the lid was underneath with a sort of a moulding mark and I did the same on the top of the fan and uh, and then before pushing them together using the, the uh, shank of the drill bit through the hole to line them up um, I there we are, like that I attached some double sided sticky tape um, to the top of the fan so um, it's attached it's it's not bad it's not spot on perfect but it's not bad um, you can see there's a slight wobble in it I mean that's more to do with the fact that it's a fairly thin piece of plastic rather than a nice piece of die cast aluminium like you'd rather like it to be so um, but as long as the um, edge is not moving too much then there shouldn't be too much trouble getting the uh, getting the motor to actually drive against it um, and then we really are in with a shot of getting this to work because to be honest the uh, tone, tone arm and the cartridge and the wiring for that um, is really a separate thing it, it doesn't rely on the accuracy of this really at all um, it just sits on top so um, I think we'll go we'll go with it just double sided taped on um, like so I've built various other similar things in the past using double sided tape and to be honest they're good enough to get prototypes going but they tend to fall to pieces after a few months the um, the heat um, gets to them uh, the sun gets to them and um, the double sided sticky tape stops being sticky and the things literally fall to pieces okay it's now to try a quick motor test so we turn the power on and we put this against the rim so this effectively is a step down to turn the high speed DC motor into something much more like 45 rpm which is what we're looking for So, not perfect, going to have to put some padding, I think maybe some heat shrink on the um, shaft of the motor and probably also mount the motor so that it's a little bit of weight, a little bit of pressure against the uh, turntable like that, I'm just doing it with my fingers, just so that it keeps constant pressure against it. So that's somewhere in the right ballpark. That's going around somewhere in the region of about um, 60 RPM. So I think we can probably manage to get 45 RPM out of it with a little bit of trouble or a little bit of um, tinkering. Okay, that's it for now. Thanks for watching, and if you've enjoyed this video, please subscribe to Mr. RG Stuff.